Oh my word. I am at Dartmouth High School and you know, being a photojournalist, I'm always on the other side of the camera and everybody always evaluates my photos. But today I get a chance to evaluate somebody else's photos. And in this case, it's a Dartmouth High School AP digital photo class. And man, there's a lot of really good stuff here. Um, the hard part is a lot of categories and walking around a lot. And it's wicked early in the morning. But just to give you guys an idea of how much work that not only the students, but the teachers put into putting this show together. Very cool. Now there were some photos that obviously stood out and here's one of them that I really love this photo. It's funny but um, you know I uh, you gotta you gotta really take these events seriously because you know you put an award you give someone and you you wanna you wanna congratulate a student for the work that they put in. But you also want to tell them that their vision is interesting. And even though none of this is photojournalism per se, a good photograph is a good photograph, regardless of how you, what category or what you know you, you want to place it in. And here's one that I really, really like. Yeah, I mean stuff like that is so cool. It just inspires me to go out there and shoot more pictures. So now it's time to put the final vote in and now I'm gonna pass out. All right. In a situation like this, the most interesting thing is to capture in an interesting way. Look for different angles, for definitely for sure. Look at that shadow coming across the stop. Try high, try low, and spend some time. And then all of a sudden it hit me. I could play off the stop on both my foreground and background elements with him filling in the void. Worked out just right. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning and I am in the south end of New Bedford where I actually grew up. Um, and the Roosevelt Middle School students are on their way to do some cleanup around the community. And I also went to Roosevelt Middle School. Actually, it was called Roosevelt Junior High School back then. But look, here they come. Oh, oh man, you did. Oh, you just... It's funny, but these types of assignments are so cool. They are cleaning on both in front of their school, which in this case is what you see me photographing. But look at that. Wait for that critical moment. In this case, there's the weed flying off. And they were also cleaning up on the beach. And uh, so I walked. The cool thing is that they are so preoccupied with trying to clean up the garbage that it's so much easier to become invisible. Depth of field. Something to definitely focus on. It tells a story. Use the curvature of the beach compress it with a longer lens but get in the middle of their space look for interesting vantage points a good photograph has strong foreground and background elements that tell a story oh did I mention I hitched the ride back you could just leave me right here I noticed something out of the corner of my eye as I was driving on Route 6 in Fairhaven. There was a gentleman putting flags in preparation for Memorial Day. Take your time, let things happen. I have to admit, I really like taking photos early in the morning. Maybe it's something about the light, maybe it's the fact that there's not many people around and the ones that are are usually doing something really interesting. Yep, 
it's boating season. Come Memorial Day, the boats will be in the water 